K-I-L-R Killer Games Gamers, simmers, and pilots, I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to my tour around the world featuring Microsoft Flight Simulator 2002. So, we have another leg of our journey here, so let's go ahead and pull up the map and see what it is we're doing. Okay, so we're here at Red Wing Regional. Um, we just came here to pick up some shoes. <laughs> Maybe, not really. Uh, we're going right here to Minneapolis, so it's not that far away. Um, but you know, of course, that this is not an airport that we can skip. I mean, we got to go here. We got to hit at least these major airports, if anything. Some other airports that I haven't really decided if if I want to go to is like uh, Flying Cloud, which I'm not sure where that's at. It's around here somewhere. Oh, look, there's a Sky Harbor over here. That's interesting. It's a private airport. But anyhow, you know, obviously we can't sit here and go to every single airport because we'll never get done with this world tour. But there are just some that I was curious about, like Flying Cloud. Why is it called Flying Cloud? I don't know. But anyway... Shouldn't take us that far to go there, and I've got everything all set and ready to go as far as our flight plan and communications and all of that good stuff. So we'll go ahead and get everything ready to go here, turn our radios on. Our flight plan's loaded up there. Get our ATC going. Now, if you remember, if you watched this on the previous flight, you may only be picking certain flights to watch, and that's cool. Uh, I just, I'm glad that you're, you know, watching my videos. That's that's just just great. But anyway, if you haven't watched the previous video, um, we had a problem with the frame rate. It just got real stuttery. It was really bad. And that's because of this. There's an option where you can undock it. Oh, you can't even see that. <laughs> if you, um, because of how I have my recording set, software set up, if you right click on this, there's an option to undock. And then you can move it off, you know, onto another monitor. Well, that caused stuttering of the frame rate, unfortunately. I would have loved to just get this thing off the screen, but not at the price of it messing up the frame rate. This we can get off the screen, though, this this map. I, w I tested that, and it worked out just fine. The problem with that is that with this widescreen I've got, it just makes the control panel look even more uglier. <laughs> more uglier than what it already is. And uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, it was like, well, why don't you use virtual cockpit? Oh, yeah, you mean this, right? Well, yeah, this this is great, but you do realize that none of none of this can, none of this works. I can't change the radios. I can't change the heading bug here. Um, I can't turn anything on or off. I can't um, move the throttle. None of that works. This is just for looks. This is great to use when landing it's very useful the gauges work I mean you know they you you can see them moving and everything but you can't interact with anything so yeah it's kind of annoying it's almost as if 
Well, we're working on that, but let's release this for now because 2002, it's kind of like we're almost, you know, it's like 2004 was the actual product they, they meant to release, but 2002 is as far as they got. And they're like, well, let's release what we have and then we'll keep working on it. Because other than that, 2002 and 2004 are relatively the same. Just 2004 has got you know some better enhancements and and fixes. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and tune in to our automated weather. Kilo Romeo Golf Kilo automated weather observation. I would have liked to get it where it changes that to Red Wing. Sky condition, ceiling 2,800, overcast. Temperature, minus 4 Celsius. Dew point, minus 4 Celsius. Altimeter, 2, Niner, Niner, 2, Kilo, Romeo, Golf, Kilo, automated weather. I know there's a way to do it with the edit voice pack. I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> Water ski. Someone's water skiing, apparently. Minneapolis departure. Cessna 13 Foxtrot ready to copy IFR clearance to Minneapolis. Cessna 13 Foxtrot is cleared to Minneapolis. Import as file. Climb and maintain 4000. Departure frequency is 121.2. Squawk 2546. Clearance void 30 minutes from now. 254. Ah. Yeah. Northwest 4624. Contact Minneapolis Tower on 119.975. Good day. Cessna 13 Foxtrot cleared at Minneapolis Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 4000. Departure on 121.2. Squawk 2546. Cessna 13 Foxtrot. Read back correct. Good day. Alright. 119.9er. Going to tune in here, and that's pretty much it. Let's just go ahead and get going. I'm still getting pulled over to the the left. Now maybe that's just how it is on a prop plane that it always pulls you off in one direction, but that's quite a bit of a direction there. It's like, oh, okay, we're <clears throat> stopped. I got rid of the wind speed. It was like, oh, moderate wind going north. So, yeah, it's like blowing me across the <laughs> airport. 
Where are we going? We're going west. Traffic. Cessna 13 Foxtrot. Taking off runway 27 west departure. Alrighty. We're still getting pulled in one direction. <laughs> That's got to be the prop thing, I guess. So I had mentioned on the last video that I wondered if there was a bridge over here because there's one in Flight Simulator 2002 or Flight Simulator 2000 and yes, sure enough, that bridge is here. Minneapolis departure, Cessna 13 Foxtrot is climbing through 1000 for 4000. set to go. We can look out the plane and stuff here. Ah, there's the airport. Alright, so... Run north. Three I think they said three zero right. All right, Minnesota. Let's see, Minneapolis. Yeah, that must be it. ILS localizer three zero left. Twice. Continental 
And I got 29 miles left to go. Continental Board Niner Niner Warp. Contact Minneapolis Center on 133.7. Good day. Minneapolis departure. Eagle Flight 4234 is at 2000. Climbing flight level 359 or 133.7 for Continental Board Niner Niner Four. Good day. Eagle Flight 4234. Minneapolis departure. Roger. Current altimeter 2990. Look at this. The local laser is 110.3. Huh. And approach is at 4,000. I was hoping that we wouldn't be seeing nothing but gray. If he's taking three zero left, then that's what we're taking. Oh, so what did my chart say again here? Three zero one. Setting. What about there? Turn left, heading 355, climb and maintain 2700. Cleared for the ILS, runway 32, maintain 2700 until established on the localizer. Alaska 6126. Minneapolis approach, November 2009, right up here. We seem to be closer than 23 miles. Minneapolis Center, Air Canada 2514 with you. Air Canada 2514, Minneapolis Center, Roger. Minneapolis departure, US Air 5956 is climbing through 2100 for flight level 350. Continental V768. There we go. Minneapolis approach on one two six point five today. Minneapolis approach. You seven three four five zero with you. Seven three four five zero. Minneapolis approach. Roger. Altimeter two nine or nine or two. Seven three four five zero. You're one eight miles south. Turn left heading three five five. Descend and maintain two thousand seven hundred. Cleared for the ILS runway three two. Approach. Maintain two thousand seven hundred until established on the localizer.
Minneapolis departure, continental two six four four. It's too much talking. Four thousand four hundred for flight level three two zero. Continental two six four four. Minneapolis. I think I need to tune tune down the uh, traffic. Continental two six four four. Turn right, heading one three zero five. Maintain flight level three two zero. Resume on navigation. Alaska six one two six. <laughs> Holy crap. I can't get in I can't get in a word in. Finally. I really don't, but <laughs> Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. November two zero zero nine or Foxtrot Minneapolis approach. Clearance to the Bravo airspace. Clearance to Bravo airspace. November two zero zero nine or Foxtrot. One one nine or point one for Alaska six one two six today. Cessna one three Foxtrot. Please expedite your turn to heading three three zero. I don't want 330. Why? I'm lining up with the Sunset runway. One, three. Please That's going to take me way off course. That's not the runway. Now it's telling me to turn left. I was established on the localizer. But if you don't do what they say, they're just like canceling radar contact. It's really annoying. Ugh, our airspeed indicator broke again. I had this problem the last time. Great, I don't know how fast we're going. We could be going really fast for all I know. Point one three three point seven. Charlie Tango Kilo. Good day. Southwest five one nine or two. Traffic is twelve o'clock. Four miles at five thousand seven hundred. Report them in sight. 
site, southwest by one nine or two. Contact Minneapolis Center on one two one point two. Day zero nine or box stop. Traffic is two o'clock three miles at eight thousand four hundred. Boeing seven thirty seven. Report them in sight. Zero nine or box stop. Have the traffic. One two one point two. Southwest five one nine or two. Good day. Minneapolis Center. Southwest five one nine or two. This climbing three one zero thousand one hundred for flight level three five zero. Minneapolis departure. UPS one five nine or zero. This climbing three one thousand six hundred for flight level three four eight. Southwest five one nine or two. Minneapolis Center. Roger. Altimeter two nine or nine or two. UPS one five nine or zero. Minneapolis departure. Roger. Current altimeter two nine or nine or two. Southwest five one nine or two. Turn right heading two one five. King Air Delta Echo Yankee. Contact Minneapolis Center on one three three. King Air D A. Is that what you said? Turn right heading zero nine or five. Climb and maintain flight level three four eight. Resume phone navigation. Lena enter five six eight zero. Contact Minneapolis Center on one three three point seven. Good day. Eagle flight two 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 six. We should be on track here. Which is good because I can't see a thing. There we go. There it is. Report them in sight, zero, nine, or box drop. Traffic is two o'clock, four miles at 1,600. Embraer, report them in sight, zero, nine, or box drop. Contact Minneapolis approach on one, two, five, point, zero. Good day. One, three, three, point, seven, for Nina, inner, five, six, eight, zero. Good day. One, two, five, point, zero, for zero, nine, or box drop. Good day. Northwest, two, four, two, contact Minneapolis center on one, three, three, point, seven. Good day. Turn right heading. Still, the plane's coming in here. Can't even acknowledge handoff. Current altimeter two minor minor two. UPS one five minor zero. Turn left heading zero minor five. Resume on navigation. Minneapolis departure. Continental five eight three two. Climbing I'm going to be landed by the time I get hold of them. Continental five eight three two. Minneapolis departure. Roger. Altimeter two minor minor two. Turn left heading zero minor five. Resume on navigation. UPS one five minor zero. I can't I can't get it in. I can't get I can't get logged in. Finally.
temperature minus four, dew point minus four. Look at the planes. Two, nine or, nine or ILS runway three zero right approach in use. Landing and departing runway three zero right. VFR aircraft say direction of flight. Read back all runway hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information to back me. You're coming in. Minneapolis Tower, Northwest Ward, Ward 1 2, ready for IFR departure. Runway 4, Northwest Ward, Ward 1 2, hold short, runway 4. Hold short, runway 4. Northwest Ward, Ward 1 2. Minneapolis Tower, Continental, I 226, miles southeast inbound on the ILS, runway 30, left approach. Northwest 8338, heavy. Contact Minneapolis departure on 121.2 today. Cessna 13 Foxtrot. Turn next taxiway. Continental 5220. Minneapolis Tower. Make straight in. Runway 30 left. Altimeter 2992. Cessna 13 Foxtrot. Contact ground on 121.8. Continental 5220. Clear to land. Runway 30 left. Number 1 for landing. 121.8 for Cessna 13 Foxtrot. Good day. Minneapolis round Cessna 13 Foxtrot taxi to the gate Cessna 13 Foxtrot taxi to the gate Charlie 3 via taxiway Alpha 4 Bravo Delta Papa Okay, I'm not taxi quite sure where Charlie that's at 3, using taxiway Alpha 4 Bravo Delta Papa Cessna 13 Foxtrot Cessna 13 Foxtrot is unfamiliar with the airport request progressive taxi Cessna 13 Foxtrot follow the path drawn on the taxiway they do that in real life. <laughs> We're special. We're a Cessna. We're going to a gate. Yay! <laughs> I wanted to come over here so you could see some of the uh, air traffic that's being uh, created with uh, FS traffic. 2002 and uh, Ultima traffic. So we've got Continental right there. Oh, looks like we got, I see the pink line and we got to go all the way over here. So that's cool. We'll, we'll come close to these uh, planes and see what we have here. I'll take that off the screen. Quite a few continentals. All right, I think this is northwest. I tell you what, 2002 is like a major improvement over Flight Simulator 2000. I think this is northwest. Contact tower on one one nine or point nine or seven five point ready. Yeah. Taxi runway four by taxiway Papa Golf Charlie Tango Delta Delta One Continental eight eight five eight. Minneapolis ground Continental I two two zero taxi to parking. Continental I two two zero taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Alpha three Alpha Alpha four Bravo. Taxi into general aviation parking. Alpha 3, Alpha, Alpha 4, Bravo, Continental, I-220. Alright, back on course here. There's downtown Minneapolis right over there.
I'm glad I asked for directions. <laughs> I don't think I would have ever found this. It's like we say, so yeah, let's go to the gate. And they're like, yeah, yeah sure. We're going to send you across to the other side of the airport. You stupid little Cessna. We're going the same direction. Well, I guess there are gates over on this side. Well, kind of. <laughs> it's one big building. He is coming towards us. U.S. Air Force. I'm not sure what plane that is. Let's get a closer look. Hey, because that's what you would do at a real airport. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just getting close to see what kind of plane uh, it is. What is this? I can't, can't read it. British. Okay, British Airways. Alright, cool. Get our parking brakes set here. Go back to this ugly control panel. Hopefully that will shut that off. Okay. Oh, whoa, did he just turn on? I guess he's getting ready to go. And turn stuff off. Oh, he turned around. <laughs> that must have been a talent. Bye. Wave goodbye. All right. It's just us now. <laughs> and our little Cessna. All right. Well, anyway, uh, we are here at Minneapolis, St. Paul. Um, I was going to try to get uh, some scenery downloaded uh, for this, but uh, I don't know. I just didn't really see anything that 
wouldn't cause a conflict or something. So this is just uh, standard default scenery. Anyhow, uh, thanks for joining me on this flight and be sure to check it out on the other simulators and I will see you on the next leg of our journey. We're going to get a good night's rest and start up early in the morning tomorrow or the next time we fly. <laughs> All right, take care. And if you had fun watching this flight, then you might enjoy watching the same flight on one of these other simulators. It's a great way to compare the difference between them, but it's also a nice way to relive some old memories or make some new ones. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around in the wild blue yonder.